In this video, we will introduce you to the auto detection feature of Octoparse. First, please open Octoparse and enter the URL you need to scrape in the search box or choose a custom task from the sidebar. A new task will be created. If you are using Octoparse for the first time, auto detection is enabled by default. However, if you want to configure the task manually, you can uncheck the option in settings. If auto detection is unchecked, you will see the option of auto detection on the tips panel after entering your target URL. Simply click on it and see how Octoparse investigates the site automatically. Once the progress is at 100%, the information on the website is displayed in a clear and concise format in the data preview section. You can delete any unnecessary data. If you find that the data is not what you need, you can switch results. If none of the results meet your needs, we recommend checking out our Beyond Basics tutorials. Once you have the desired results from auto detection, follow the tips provided. When the website has multiple pages of information, Octoparse will detect this and display a pagination button. You can click the button to confirm if it is correct. If not, you can use the edit option and click on the correct button. The next option is scroll, which indicates if Octoparse thinks that the page needs a scroll down to load all the information. If your target information does not require a scroll, you can uncheck the option. Once you have completed the above steps, click on Create Workflow. If your target information is not only on the listing but also on the detail page, Octoparse will detect it. You will see an option of Select Subpage URL on the Tips panel. Click on it, and Octoparse will show you the detected subpage URL. Choose Confirm and move forward. A click into the detail page is added to the workflow at the same time. In the browser, you can select everything you need to scrape and choose the format for the scraped data. After the whole workflow is generated, you can double-click the field to change the field name. To check if the workflow is giving you the required data, save the task and click on Run. You have two options, run the task on your device or run it in the cloud. Running it on your device requires you to keep your computer open until the scraper is done, and all the actions in the scraper will be performed under your IP location. When running it in the cloud, it uses Octoparse cloud server, and the IP location is assigned randomly by Octoparse. You do not need to keep your computer open after starting the run. You will see two modes for each choice, standard and boost. Boost mode is only available when your task is splittable, which means the task can be split into many subtasks to run simultaneously, decreasing the time spent. Once the task is running, you can monitor the important status of the task at the top of the window, such as data scraped amount, time, and so on. There are four sections to help users examine the task, task overview, data list, event log, and recent runs. If the task finishes running, you can export the data. You can choose the format for exporting. If you need to get the data later, open your task list, find your target task, and choose all data to export. Start using the auto detection feature now, and I'm sure you'll achieve good results. If you need further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us.